And then we went to uh, a tropical island and I got food poisoning and I spent the last two days on the toilet. Uh, I heard Toast got food poisoning. Yes. Yes. Toast was Toast was sicky wicky towards the end of the trip, which was really unfortunate because he made this entire thing happen for us. And then he spent the next couple of days shitting his pants while we all hung out on the beach, um, which that that definitely sucked. I felt really bad. We went to Boracay. We went to here. This is obviously a tourist spot because when you go there at the resort, it's like giga tourist. And then we go to this beach. So we all like this beach is super famous. It have white sands, white something sands. It's like really smooth. The ocean's beautiful. We, just, we swam out here for hella long. I spent like eight hours in the ocean. That's me. I was swimming. This is the exact beach we went to. Okay. So this is a beach. The resort is like really far to the left. You want to know how Brock I was? Brock I was beautiful until I met a motherfucker named Noel. A dude that we trusted. He knew us for three days. Hustled y'all. We knew him for three days. And what did he do in return? He showed us around, gained our trust, took us out in a fucking boat. We did a thing called UFO. What the fuck? Which is terrifying, by the way. I do not recommend UFO. A must try in Barakai. I'm reporting this video. Do not. Sean's and Celine's fingers were bleeding because these fucking plastic wraps do not help your grip. And no one wants to get launched into the deep sea. They were death gripping. I'm yelling to Danny, lock in. Danny can't swim. He doesn't want to fall. As soon as this happens, your ass is off. You're, it's slippery. You're holding onto plastic like that you can't get a grip. I'm like digging under the plastic to reach the rope so I get a better grip. This shit is... You just fall? Yeah, but it's like a scary fall because like if I did fall at that moment and I do let go, let's say like, oh, I did the funny, like I'm going to hold the plastic and slip off. I'm kicking someone in the face. And this is me. This is Sydney. This is Danny. Not in this video. I'm just saying like our order. This is Julia. And who's on the end here? Was it Peter? It was Scara. Scar was on the end. If I let go, I'm kicking Sydney in the face, 100%. Do not recommend this. Banana boat, though, that was sick. Um, they were yelling some, like, do Dune 2, like, uh, chant, like, as if they were riding a worm. I don't know what that's about. I haven't seen any of the Dune series yet, but they were screaming this while raising their fist, um, which was unfortunately hard to kind of, like, did the guy happen to look at us at the same time? The guy that was driving Sounds the like a skill issue. The guy that was driving the boat, we didn't want to like flip off. Um, but as soon as they did that, I am like 90% certain he started going faster and he thought we did want to start flipping. Because Broden made a note like, oh yeah, no flip on this one. Like we just want to ride. But as soon as they did that chant with their fists in the air and he looked or he turned around, I think he he <laughs> he thought like Faster? Okay. They want to go fast? Got you. Um, Julia gets launched off because they wanted to go closer to the end. And then Julia was stuck on the... Uh, let me see. Banana. I'm in the far back. Celine's in front of me. Um, and then Julia was to my far right. And then same with like Sydney, um, Sydney, Sean, and Jody. But they scooted to the front while Julia was still stuck in the back. Dude. <laughs> she got catapulted off. She, as soon as they moved forward and the balance was off, they like flowed like normal because the weight was like distributed. But then the back where Julie was just bink. And then she just flew off while holding on. And like, I look over as she's in the air and she's like holding on, getting like the wave, like the wave just like splash in her face. And then like, she finally let go. But, like, oh my God, terrifying. Oh, Noel. Oh my God, I forgot. We did the UFO. Oh my God, that was so fun. Everyone was kind of pretty terrified. And then Noel was like, yo, you guys just want to do the banana boat while we're here? We have like 30 minutes. You guys have the time. And it just sounded like a kind gesture. Like, yeah, let's do the banana boat. Let's do the banana boat. Why not? We already paid for a group of 10, 20,000 Filipino peso. And that included the shuttle there. And we're like, we don't really want to like hard drive them. 
we are getting scammed for sure or we're getting hustled but you know fuck it you know let's just do it let's make it easier on everyone we then do this and we get back he holds everyone in my mind sorry i'm exaggerating like fucking crazy or am i he held everyone fucking hostage and he d he demanded 10,000 more peso for the shuttle back i'm exaggerating but am i so i'm walking in my flip flops which i didn't know it can if it's plastic it chafes your toes i learned that now why do you guys allow it i didn't know but now i know like now i know like oh you want us to banana boat how much for free like i need to ask questions like i'm now learning the travel because I, I wasn't used to it the last thing we did was japan no one trying to get your ass but when i went to turkey i'm like okay you dropped that brush in front of me i'm not picking that up i'm not picking that up because i heard sydney picked it up and they were being intense in, in sydney were being demanded like 40 bucks i'm like ah, oh you dropped your brush that fucking sucks if anything i'm gonna kick it fuck it i'm gonna kick it i'm gonna kick it to you I'm I'm walking in the flip-flops while everyone's just kind of like stuck at like outside the boat area like on the at the end of the beach I go withdraw the 10k we hand it over we get the fuck out um I'm gonna double check my humor or like my filter is just gone now I don't know why I was just so upset I I like you know what's better than the Philippines getting out of the Philippines no I still fucking love the Philippines it's just like I need to just be I need to not be an idiot I'm learning uh i need to check my filter though i just i don't know why i got so pissed as i'm like oh fuck as i'm walking the uh the atm i went down the wrong alley and like i i just i run into a fucking neighborhood i think and i look over and there's like a closet of wetsuits and i look over to my left and there's another family they're like oh, snorkeling snorkeling and it felt like zombies they're like ah no 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 snorkeling no snorkeling i'm already getting hustled please and like i like i leave i like start speed walking out of the alley i go to the next alley i, I see a triple atm i go to the middle atm out of cash i'm like fuck i'm like my friends are being held hostage noel you piece of shit i go to the right one had cash I'm like okay thank god and I have to walk back. It was like half a mile to the ATM. Walk a half a mile back. My toes are fucking chafed to the bone. Um, and then I called him a pedophile. I don't know what's wrong with my filter nowadays. I said, oh, that Noel guy, he touches little boys. I Like I said it really loud. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I I think I just need to, I need, <laughs> I need to just chill out a bit. Uh, everyone's like, John, what? I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I just got really mad. I, I really mad. I called him a pedophile for the rest of the night. I called Jody a pedophile because I was like tilted at a game she was playing. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know. Um, I'm working on it. He's, I'm working on it. Um, so when we did water sports, Thanks they called it that. a UFO, which basically, guys, literally imagine a couch on water being pulled by a boat. That's exactly what it was. It was an inflatable couch. Me, Celine, Peter, Broden, Sean, go first. <laughs> the UFO, I'm sitting. I'm sitting like I'm sitting on a couch. And so my first thought is, this cannot be good for my spine. Like if you like slam back into the couch, it can't be good. But I'm like, eh, whatever, I'm sure it's safe. So we go, also, you're sitting down and the things you're holding on to have plastic over them. So keep in mind, you're on the water, water splashes up, plastic water very slippery so it's it's like on you're on hard mode okay this is just hard mode so this guy is like doing loops we are getting our shit rocked i'm it's broden and peter on the ends me and sean in the middle and i'm watching broden and peter get trip. fucking yeeted into the air slamming back down i'm watching broden's legs just flop like a fucking fish they're holding on for dear life like just actual dude we're all screaming <laughs> and i'm like holy fuck everyone don't like watch out for your tongues because sometimes when you are inner tubing you can like you know what i mean so everyone's like clenching their jaws salt water is spraying into Tissue our eyes i can't open free. my eyes i'm getting i'm getting launched and so then we're like what the fuck so generally when, when you enter to or when i've gone inner to me i'm always on a lake so i've actually never done it in like sea salt water it was it was rough but it was still really fun it was just absurd selena and sean start bleeding 
<laughs> Their hands are getting cut the fuck up on something. Sean accidentally cuts Peter. I don't know. Guys, we're just like, it actually was a crazy experience. And then we, <laughs> so then we're like, guys, we can't let the next group know. Like when, when we come back, we have to act like that was the best, most fun thing we've ever done. And we have to act like it ain't so bad so that when they go in, they have no idea. So we get back, everyone's quiet, and we're like, that was so fun. Yeah, you guys will be fine. It was super easy. Hold on tight. <laughs> so then, so then they get on the boat, and as soon as they take off, I scream, that was terrible. Good luck, guys. Like, GG's. And so when they get back, they're like, what the fuck? I'm watching them get whipped around. When they get back, John is like completely slumped over, super pale. Jade hot, jade hot, jade <laughs> like Sydney's ponytail came out. Like it was just Hope everyone's gone through war. <sighs> but it was super fun. And then the guy's like, hey, you want to go in the banana boat? And we're like, yeah, I want to go in the banana boat. So everybody gets on the banana boat and we're all basically I've never seen a banana boat, but it's Imagine a hot dog on water. That's kind of what it looks like. And you're sitting on the buns. Wait, that's exactly what it sounds. It, that's literally it. Okay. Then we're riding it and I'm riding it like a horse. Okay. Well, originally John, everyone had their legs out. Like they were sitting on a couch and then John had their, his legs and he was sitting on a horse. And I was like, stream, but I think John's on to something. Lol. So Glad I sit on it had a good like time. I'm riding a horse and I did not fall off one. They're like, that was so easy. I was like, zhoo, zhoo. I was just, I don't know. It felt like a little sport. It felt like a motorcycle game. And everyone else was kind of falling around us. And I was like, John was, me and John were like, yeah, you got to ride it like a horse. And then after that, guys, it was so intense. We were all, I don't know, we were locked in. Everybody was like, kind of silent. And we were just like, like anytime we would go to the, like, turn, turn. Um, and then eventually Sean screams, Lisa, don't get me. And we all pretend we were on the dune worm. It was really fun. I had a really good time. There's like, there's tons of shops and stores and people like selling stuff. We did get scammed. Um, we did get scammed on the beach. Some guy like lured us out and was like, come on our boat. And we we're like, okay. And like we went on their boat and then Broden, is, Broden like haggled him down some price. He was gonna like charge us double. And then Broden found like a brochure that was like, wait, they're offering it for like this much somewhere else. And then the guy's like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll give it for this price instead. So like, obviously he's trying to skip, he's trying to make us pay double for it. We like went out. It was like decently expensive. It was like 40 per person. We went out to this boat and then we get taken on these just giant, think of like you have a water couch that just floats on the couch and five people at a time hang on for dear life as a speedboat just pulls you. So you're like flying in the air. It's like super painful. UFO. It's a UFO thing, okay? It's a giant yellow, it looks like a giant yellow inflatable couch that floats on the water, but you could fly off. Like you're only holding on to like plastic like grips and that they're like water splashing onto you. And like Celine was on my right and Peter was on my left. If Peter was on my left, I probably would have flown off. I literally at one point the boat threw us so hard that I let go. And I was like, I'm dead. I'm just going to die here in the Philippines and no one's going to know where my body went because I'm going to be lost to the ocean. And Celine also went fine. So me and Celine both go horizontal and we're just, we're, this is the boat down here. Our bodies are just like flying, like literally like our life is flashing before our eyes and then and then the boat stops at the exact time and so the 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 couch the ufo stops and me and Celine just go douche and just land back on the couch. We're like, oh thank god but that wasn't the fun thing we went go back on the boat and this is where we got scammed the guy is like oh are you guys like done do you guys want to ride this other thing this other thing looks like a hot dog it's like a it's like a really long, it's like a really long boat that you sit on. It's like a hot dog though. You sit on it like a horse, but it's long. So like you, there's like, but there's two of them side by side. So there's like, I want to say you could have like 15, 16 people on it. Banana boat. We want a banana boat. This shit was so fun. This is the most fun I've ever had like in my life. Okay. We go on, the guy says it's free. We're like, oh yeah, sure. It's free. And then he leans over to Broden. And he's like, hey, like, do you want to flip? He wants to like flip you and Bruin's like all of us from the ufo like our arms okay so i'm so sorry to peter and celine i like scratched them the fuck up on the ufo like my my like toenail my left leg like cut peter's leg and then i don't know if it was my pants celine thinks it's my pants but i think it was my nails but i like cut celine's hand 
like twice. Like I also got cut in two spots. So like me and Celine, like at the end, we like looked at her hands and we we're like, oh shit, we're like bleeding. Like what the fuck? That's weird. And it kind of hurt. It like stings because you're there's like ocean water touching, like salt touching it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys this. So like we're going back to the boat. There's just five of us, and then we're the first group that went. So the second group has to come. And our plan is like, let's pretend like it was really easy. Like I almost fell off the, the UFO twice. But I'm like, let's pretend that it was really easy. So we get for it. Oh, that was nothing. Like, don't worry about it. Like, I'm surprised like that the boat did go like faster. Like we got so many breaks. Like, don't worry about it. And then they go. And then we're all kind of like laughing. Like, ah, I think one of them's gonna fall. I thought Scar was gonna fall. I'm gonna say it. This is on record. I thought Scar was gonna fall off. You need like incredible grip strength. And if you're like a person on the outside, you're like fucked, okay? No, my nails are cut, but it's like you're you're just like slamming up and down like with so much force that like anyone like anyone's nails would like cut you. But the next thing is the banana boat, which is so fun. If you guys have never done a banana boat, ride it like so at first I wrote it like like this. Well, you guys can't see. Like I wrote it with like like you would sit on a chair, okay? And it was really hard. You need like so much arm strength. To hold on but then you could sit forward on it and then you're you fold your knees back your knees are on the ground and your and your feet are behind you yeah tron style perfect Udons, you were a genius tron style you ride it tron style and it becomes like eight times easier it is so fun it literally felt like i was riding a sandworm in dune like you were just like holding on. i'm at the very front you guys will see pictures it might be in the vlog we'll see it was so fun. I would do it every single day because the next day we woke up in the hotel room and my whole body, except for my chest, was like my legs were sore, my back was sore, my biceps was like super sore because you're just holding on for like dear life and the water's like blasting you. I will say the UFO was not worth the money. Also, the guy charged us like 30, 40 bucks after, even though he said it was free, but we, we didn't record it. So we got scammed. But if you want to get scammed, Go to Boracay. It's super beautiful. We went to the town to do water activities, which were, it was really fun. Basically, when you get there, there's a bunch of people who are in your face, right? They can see that you're a tourist, and so they're like, hey, I'll take you out to do this. I'll take you out to do that. I'll take you out to do this. And you, you kind of be like, no, 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 no. You're like constantly saying no to people. Um, but this one guy met us as we got off of our shuttle from the resort, and he was like, oh, yeah, we, like, work with, you know, we, like, the resort can't, actively like claim us or anything but the guy who was driving our resort van didn't like tell him to go away so i was like oh um then that's it's probably fine right this is probably our best bet this guy would not leave us alone the first day we were there he's following us around everywhere he's like making sure that like we have his number and we have this and like yada 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 he like won't leave us alone eventually broden's just like oh yeah we're not gonna do anything today but like next time and so he's calling broden non-stop the next day to set up an appointment for us to come do this we do this like um ufo shaped inner tube which is really fun so mind you this is a lot of people's first time doing a tropical vacation um scar's first tropical vacation Toast first tropical vacation, John's first tropical vacation, I'm pretty sure. So a lot of them have like not hung out on like white sand beaches or done water activities or anything like that. We do the UFO thing and I'm in the second group. So the first group is like Jody, Sean, Celine, Peter and Broden. They go and then they come back and they're like, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Like, um, they don't really say anything about it. They were just like, oh, it's so much fun. Like, you're going to have a blast. Just make sure you hold on really tight. And, like, don't bite your tongue. And we're like, okay. So it's probably, like, it's just, it's just whatever. Like, the guy's not going to flip us around or anything. I, like, when we were out that there, I thought that man had a personal vendetta. I thought he was like, oh, if I kill these tourists right now, I'm going to make extra money. He was whipping us like we, like we were going to pay him extra if we lost an arm so we're sitting on this thing like holy fuck those guys either got a really easy ride or they lied to us because i no, no one fell off but when i tell you i was this close when i was this close to giving up because the entirety of my body hurt like i was in so much like the day afterwards we went to breakfast all like oh oh god oh my back oh my my thighs everything hurts like 
<laughs> it was so painful. So Danny's in the middle because Danny can't swim. Um, and he's real scared and he's quiet. Like he Danny is in the middle hanging on for dear life. This man is like, I will not let go. I will actually not let go. He's like, I refuse. So he doesn't say anything. That motherfucker is locked in. He's like, you know, and then <laughs> we keep like the only time he opens his mouth is to be like, lock in, lock in. Like when it's about when the tube's about to go crazy, he just like starts yelling lock in and we're all like, yeah and getting flung around like crazy um john is sunk into his seat as far as he can go this man like did some calculations ahead of time or something and was like okay if i lower my center of gravity this is gonna be good so this everybody else is like sitting on the tube like this and john is like laying down <laughs> He's like laying down on the ends, like holding on, getting flung around. Um, Julia was on the far, far end, and Julia is the smallest person on the tube. She's like a small girl. And so I can just see her from the corner of my eyes catching insane air. Insane air. I see, like, most of us are like kind of going like this, right? She is holding on to the point where her elbows go straight. Like, she's off the chair. Like, I just see her going. And I'm like, the entire time, I'm like, holy fuck, she is going. She is going in the water. Like, she's she is going, going, gone. Um, but she hung on. So we get back to the dock. Because basically what they do is they pick you up from the shore. They boat you out to this, like, floating barge where they do all of their activities. You get on a new boat to do your stuff. So we get back to the barge where all of our friends are. And we're like that was so hard literally what were you talking about and apparently they were all in cahoots of saying that it wasn't that bad so that when we got on we like thought differently and boy did they fool us because we were out there like fuck those guys like those guys got an easy ride like our ride is so hard but no we were all dead um so then afterwards he offers us he's like oh do you want to do this other one he's like you want to do this banana one and it's like um one of those that's shaped like a hot dog and it has like double seats um and then you just hang on on the front so we finished that one we're all like in fucking pain but a couple of us decide to go on the banana one and we tell the guy he's like oh like i flip you and broden's like no 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 flips no flips easy ride and so he's like oh okay easy ride easy ride so then i'm like uh i look at him and he's like no it'll, it'll be easy um and i'm like can i trust you and he goes <laughs> yeah you could trust me. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going in the water. I'm going in the fucking water. I'm actually dead. This man is going to kill me. Like I, I, when he laughed while saying he could trust me, I was so scared. I was actually so scared. Um, but he didn't, he didn't fuck us up. He didn't fuck us up. We went on a nice, easy ish ride. It was really fun. So me and Sean are at the front. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the other thing that the first group didn't tell us about the UFO is that you get so much water in your face and eyes and the water out there is giga fucking salty. So, so I like me and John are both wearing contacts and we cannot see. And so John just like keeps risking it because like the guy doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. Um, he or for our group he like really didn't stop and we saw the other group stop a lot so we thought either people were falling off or like they were requesting stops but he just like didn't stop for us so we never had time to like get our eyes so it would be we'd literally be flying in the air and i'd see john go <gasps> and like grab back onto the handle <laughs> Well, we're just eating salt water. It's up your nose. There's boogers everywhere. Like, I can't believe, like, my uh, my contacts fall off. It was it was something. So we get to the banana boat ride, and it's a lot easier. Sean and I are in the front. Um, the first time we go, it's really hard because we're all sitting like this with, like, our feet forward. Um, and so the first ride is, like, really difficult. We're like, holy shit, this is so hard. We're, like, sinking into the like sinking into the middle and it, it kind of sucked. But then on our second ride, Jody was like, oh, tuck your feet back. So then we started riding like, uh, like we're riding a horse basically. And it became way easier. So <clears throat> we move up and like, we get some, some hard turns. Yes. We have both on video. So you will see them in vlogs. Um, we get some hard, uh, turns or whatever, but it was like fine. 
um, we're, we're riding it and <laughs> we have a second where we stop and the boat driver like turns around and he's like, is everybody okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. Like, let's go, let's go. And then I, I like kind of like semi stand on the thing and I go, Lisan al Gaib. And then everyone behind me goes, Lisan al Gaib. And then the boat driver takes off and we're like, it was it was the coolest feeling ever. <laughs> it felt like it felt like when we were at the the fan meet and we like we'd go suka and then everybody go suka. Like it was the same thing. It was <laughs> it was really troll, but it was really funny. So then uh, we finished that ride at near the very end. Um, we all kind of moved spots, and the way that they have it is um, so that you're balanced. Uh, but we all kind of moved up one because we were having fun and he was being nice to us and like not flipping us. So we were like, okay, like let's move up a little bit. So there became a gap. And then the person in the back, uh, was Julia, who once again is the smallest person in our group, like maybe even smaller than Celine. Um, so she's in the very back and there's a gap between her and the next person cause she didn't move up. <laughs> so she got flung from the banana boat just absolutely annihilated ends up in the water and we have to like go back and get her and she gets back on the boat and they, they ask her like oh do you want to get back on and she's like no no i'm good um so she was the only one to fall off but it was not her fault it was not her fault at all it's because we we changed the weight so basically what happens is all of the weight is in the front there's a gap and then just her and so in the back you can see her like like literally just getting shit whipped um and then yeah she uh she eats it okay this is a personal favorite you can see uh julia the smallest of us all hanging on for a dear life scara having a grand old time as he always does you know him just happy to be here danny life flashing before his eyes <laughs> Me bracing in pain <laughs> and John <laughs> sinking into the deepest depths of the UFO as to stay on. <laughs> it's such a it's just such a good video or such a good picture. And we have a couple of videos as well. Um you'll get to see them. You'll get to see them in our vlogs, I'm sure. Um who took that pick? So that's the craziest part. They they basically ask you, they're like, oh, do you want us to take your phone on the boat so that we can um so that we can take photos and videos and stuff? And so I'm assuming that there's gonna be one guy driving the boat and one guy taking the photos. Right? That's kind of what that's what you would assume, that there's gonna be two people on the boat. Nah. This motherfucker driving the boat, whole hands off the wheel, looks, leaves it, takes the phone. He took a two minute long video. This video was one minute and 23 seconds long. This other video, one minute and eight seconds. Who driving the boat? Who driving the boat for those two minutes? That man was fully turned around like this with our lives in his hands. <laughs> when he does that, I'm like, there is no fucking way. There's actually no fucking way that he's doing this right now. That was that that was wild. That was actually so wild. Um You just know that they've been doing this for a very long time, but uh, for us as Taurus who just got picked up by some random dude named Noel, if that was his name on the street, that was something scary to see, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. So then we get back to the barge and they take us back to shore and they're like, oh, okay, and like now you pay us. And Broden's like, oh, I already paid. Like we paid ahead of time. Don't you remember we, we paid ahead of time for this? And he's like, oh no, but the other stuff was extra. But he literally said, oh, you want to do the banana boat? It's short for free. So we get back and he's like, oh yeah, I need, to, I need you to pay me the rest of it. And I'm like, oh, classic of course of course of course so 
I don't know how much money it ended up being. I have no idea, but everybody keeps saying like we get we got giga scammed and I'm sure that we did. But the thing is is like you always get scammed and I don't know. I guess when Well, okay, so <laughs> Now, let me tell you, this Noel guy, in the beginning, so kind of us. So kind to us. Like, so, so nice. He's just like, oh, where are you guys from? What's your name? It's like, it's, oh, it's nice to meet you. Like, I'll take care of you. I'll give you a good price. He's really chatty, asking a bunch of stuff. Like, so nice, whatever. By the end of it, we give him the money, and he's like, okay, thank you, bye. Just leaves. <laughs> Literally says nothing else. Just actually just leave. No cool, like no pleasantries, no goodbye. It was nice to meet you. None of that. He was so nice to us. And then at the end, he's like, bye. <laughs> it was so funny. It was actually so funny. Um, no, it was just a random guy from the beach. The ones at the hotel didn't have the same um same things that we wanted to do, and also was just like super expensive. So when I get scammed in foreign countries where like the u.s dollar is so much different than their their dollar i don't really care like it's kind of like you gotta make a living shit like what like what are you gonna do yeah i'm an american tourist sure it's like i also like i had so much fun it's okay like, I had so much fun, I'd, I personally don't care. That's just me. I'm like, yeah, exactly. I like, respect the hustle. Like, you got to fucking hustle. I did get scammed, but it's still cheaper than anything like that in the U.S. If I wanted to do that in the U.S., are you kidding me? I would have paid three grand. Like, I, I think we ended up paying, like, $500 or something. Like, I would pay $500 for that experience again. I had a lot of fun. And if anything, like, whatever. You got you to make money. Hustle is hustle. Broden was the one who paid for it all. Or I think like Broden and John. So I I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, John was pissed. <laughs> John was pissed. He came back and <laughs> said stuff I've never heard John say. <laughs> I was like, wow, I've never, I've never seen John like this before. <laughs> it was kind of scary. <laughs> because he's not like... He's not like angry. He, he, when he gets pissed, it's not like you're normal anger it's kind of like jokerish like it's like ooh, is he about to crack and it's just like hearing him say like john is such a nice guy like john is the nicest guy and so when he's like not happy about something it was really weird i was like damn you okay <laughs> you want to talk about it <laughs> um but yeah i think for me like it was just so much fun and i think it was the highlight of everybody's borakai trip so it's okay like, I, I would pay it again.